I'm going to start off with a heavyweight grip who can block. Size 12. There's enough uh, yarn in this to keep this up. It's quite a solid hook because it's for big fish. Just adjust that calm a tiny touch. That's better. So, I've not got a lot of materials in this fly, very few actually. I start off with a UTC thread in black. And I'm just going to come down to a point opposite. The point of the hook shank there. Oh, it's a four par. And then I come in with some miler. It's quite thick, size 12. And I'm just going to get a small length of that. And all I'm doing is catch it on my side of the hook shank. Again, in with the snips. And I'll just stick a maybe half inch in there. So coming down the hook shank, touching turns. I might turn this a little bit. I might turn this just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. But just lock that there. Just overlapping turns. Keep it tight. And then secure. I'm back in place there. Let me just see those and trim the miler. So we just got to cover all this miler up with thread wraps. And in the middle here, I've got this stuff ultra yarn black. And I've got quite a thick inch, inch and a half. And what I want to do is I want to catch it in, but I need to give myself enough space at the front to tie off. So enough space at the front to tie off. A couple more wraps and then wrap down. Now what I like to do is cut this in a one -er so they're both the same size. And I just bring them up till I'm happy. So there's my two lengths there, both the same size. Like so. I then come in with a grizzle hackle. This one looks good. Yeah, it's about the right size. So about the drop of the gape of the hook and then half again. And just tie them in. In with the scissors, take that back to there. You can do this with your fingers actually because it's the hackles that long. Then I've got a soldering 51, it's just a black synthetic. Get away with seals for I just like this black synthetic stuff. And I come from the back, uh, the front, backwards because I'm going to take my thread through there, keep it nice and secure. Again, I've got this little tying off point here, make sure that's always there. And then I want about six or seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna probably get away with an eight. No, seven. That's it, that's secure. And then just take your fiber away here. And again, make sure we've got that bit at the front to tie off. 
So pull everything back from your thumb and four fingers. There. Aim your whip finish. Make sure you're not going to trap any fibres. Like so. And this is a, a great fly uh, a merger. I just come in and at an angle, snip through. And the reason for that is, if I turn it that way, you'll see it's just got to sit in the surface. I've got that little V in there and that just sits perfect. But this is a, a great little emerger that works. That perry, it's great for like balling buzzers. It's also good for hatching buzzers and ants. But it just, it's a good flying reservoir. So because you've got that strong hook, um, it'll take those bigger resident fish. Fish them in open water or over the weed beds and watch that pearly body work its magic. I really hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did, please be kind enough to subscribe to my channel. Take care and see you soon.